everyone, uh, welcome to review unboxing number three. Uh, this is for the Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain headset. Uh, I don't know if it's a limited edition, and I imagine it would be, but I could be wrong. Got it from Game, uh, £50, uh, made by Hurry or Harry. I've not heard of them before, I know I just use Turtle Beach. Uh, it's for the PlayStation 4 and the PS Vita. Comes in a nice box. You can see what you're getting inside. A couple of specifications on the back. Like, uh, like the size of the headset, the cable length, how much it weighs, the input sound and stuff like that. So yeah, let's open it up and have a look. So when you open it up, it's nice and protected. It comes with like, uh, it's in a plastic cover like that. Uh, Keeping it safe because even though it's plastic, it is quite hard plastic. So uh, I can't, I can't, I can squash it, but you know, if you drop it, it's going to be reasonably protected. I mean, if you if you dropped it out of the third story window, it'd probably break. But, but why is that going to happen? I don't know. So yeah, it's well protected. Uh, the wire is just sat at the back though, like, like just like that. So, but let's get it out and have a look. Now, it's the same finish as the uh, PlayStation 4, the, the matte finish, is it? It's very nice and hard plastic, very solid. It's got some nice padding there, uh, nice padding on the earmuffs. Uh, it's got like a, I don't know if you can hear it, but they, to make it bigger, they're like a nice and, nice and clicky, you can feel them. Um, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels uh, it feels right, you know. Not too expensive. I mean, there's more expensive, better quality headphones out there. I haven't been able to check the sound quality of them yet because I'm literally just opening on them now. But yeah, they seem pretty good. So, and uh, this is a microphone plugs in. Now I'm glad that it doesn't have the uh, the little muffler on the end because my cats like to steal them so you know they always go missing more straight away no matter where I put them they manage to find them so let's plug it in so I've plugged the microphone in and it's a pretty good fit like you can't really tell that it comes out you know, the microphone itself, there's not really much adjustment in it really, like it was a Turtle Beach one, you can put it next to your mouth, right far away from your mouth, whatever you want. This one it's pretty much fixed in one place. Uh, yeah, the wire, I don't understand why they make the wires so long on these, like I think this wire is three and a half feet long, but it just wires into the controller. I don't understand why the wire would need to be that long when truly the control is going to be in your hands and it's never going to be three and a half foot away is it but maybe if you're using it on uh, like iPods and stuff I'd imagine you could use it for that it's like a good quality cable it's got a nice little clip on it to clip it onto your shirt it's got a mute button switch and it's got a wheel for the volume uh, it doesn't want to have independent game and uh, chat volume. Maybe you can't play the game through, I don't know, because we're at the Turtle Beach. You can play the game right through the headset. Maybe this is just a chat headset. So I should have looked it up actually before I got it, but so not, I'm, I'm, I wanted it anyway. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go and plug it in and I'll check the sound quality. Uh, I've not, I've only got like three friends on the PlayStation 4 at the minute so I don't think two, and two of them have got microphones so I can only really check the chat quality out when I'm with somebody else and say so maybe it is for game I don't know but yeah well, I would recommend it so far until I plug it in and use it we're just going off with the build quality and what it looks like basically just judging a book by its cover I'd say it's pretty good like it's very solid so, uh, yeah. 
So yeah, I just checked, uh, it does play chat and game audio through it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, maybe you're new to PS4 like me, when you plug it in, you've got to go to the settings, then down to... Uh, devices, click on devices, audio devices, then it's got the microphone uh, levels and everything. This one, it says output to headphones, it was just on chat audio before, if you change it to all audio you can hear, hear everything through it, so that's what you do. So, yeah, sorry for the bad video, quality video for recording the TV, but also you can see it enough to get it. Like, uh, I want to do more of these reviews, I hope, I hope to get a proper camera so I can record stuff in like HD, make it better. So, yeah, as you can see as well, it's, well you can't really see because of the light, but it's the same colour as a PS4. Uh, and this is what I'm going to be reviewing re 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 next. I said I weren't going to open it, but I have done. And uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a little review on that. Uh, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But if you give it a thumbs down, tell me why you don't like it. Uh, I want to improve. I want to do more of these videos. I appreciate that they're not the best quality right now. But it's only early days for me. Uh, so yeah, if, if you give me, criticize all you want, just as long as it's a constructive criticism, don't just say the video was rubbish. Tell me why it was rubbish. Well, I mean, I can't stop you from criticizing, can I really? But appreciate if you tell me why you didn't like it or why you did like it. So, uh, thanks again for watching and uh, look into part four. Alright, thanks very much guys. See you later.